Welcome to Chant Talk, Episode 8. I'm Patrick Torsel, and today we're going to finally finish our series on accompanying the eight modes. So we're going to cover modes 7 and 8 in one episode today. And this was kind of inspired by a viewer question. Francis had asked me just the other day if I could go through the harmonization or accompaniment harmonization for the Vidi Aqua. And I took a look at it and I thought, okay, that, that would be a good, a good topic. And it's in mode 8. I thought, okay. Uh, well, the asparagus is in mode 7, so why don't we do both mode 7 and 8 with the asparagus and then the vidi aquam. So, as usual, before we dive into uh, work of the organ, let's kind of remind ourselves of the salient characteristics of those modes. So, uh, mode 7, our tonic is sol, and our dominant is re, and we have a range from sol to sol. So, those are kind of the parameters we're going to be working within, and, and remember as, as the... Uh, with all of the, the modes from uh, 5, 6, 7, and 8, it's, it, it has a more of a brighter, happier tonality to it, I dare say kind of major sounding, compared to the first four modes. Uh, and of course, mode 7 is the authentic mode. So let's go have a look at the asparagus in mode 7 and see what kind of patterns we can come up with. So the asparagus in mode 7, of course, um, and we're going to go ahead and set Do on G. It's a very comfortable spot to sing this, which means that it's going to start on D, on Sol. Now, um, keep in mind what we just talked about, that uh, um, Sol is our tonic and Re is our dominant. Okay, so let's see what that means. So Father would intone this. Asparagus me. Then you start on me, right? So on B natural. So why don't we start right there on a Do major chord, G major, B is the third. <laughs> I can play the right pedals. So what did I do there? Uh, we start on Do major, G major. We just jump up to the first inversion, so over a B bass. First inversion of Ray minor, there's that Ray minor coming into play. Sol major chord there. Right. Nice and simple. So moving along, now we're going to just walk the bass down either in your left hand, which you're on a D here, or in the pedal or both. We're going to walk that down to a C because we're on our way to a first inversion, Do major again, right? So G major over a B bass. So we end on Do. Straightforward, but we see absolutely a lot, you know, heavy use of that soul, which makes perfect sense because soul is our, our tonic, our final. Uh, but then also that Ray minor chord pops up a lot. Ray is our, our dominant, so there's a lot of, of Ray showing up here, so it's kind of natural to see um, both in the, uh, the soul major chord, right, because Ray is the fifth of the soul major. D major, A is the fifth of it, and since Do is G, A is of course Ray. So we use it with that a lot, and also with the Re minor chord. Right. An important thing to remember in mode 7 is that Fa major chord. It's really critical because even though we kind of hear Sol, so D, um, as our home bass here, the tonality is really centered around, around that, we're not in a major key. No. It's go always going to be a C natural here. So that Fa major chord is really important for kind of keeping our tonal center just like the Re minor chord where uh, Fa is going to be the third of the Re, re minor. Okay. So let's look at the Psalm tone quickly. <clears throat> we'll start on that Sol major chord. Re minor first inversion. Do major, G major. Back to uh, Sol major, D major. Fa major, C major, 
So, let's put it all together, let's listen to it, and I normally do these videos at accompaniments and then kind of sing along as if it were a kind of a small school in a, in a parish church, but hey, uh, let's have some fun. Let's use a bigger registration and just pretend for the moment that we are in uh, Notre Dame or somewhere and we've got uh, hundreds of voices singing with us. So, let's, let's do that. Seven. Now how about mode eight? Mode eight also has its tonic on soul. It's the plagal counterpart to mode seven. Its uh, dominant is on do, so we're going to be spending a lot of time around do as well as soul, and its range is from re to re. So with those ideas in mind, let's go have a look at the vidi aqua. The vidi aqua mode eight. We are going to go ahead and set do on a. Again, that's going to make it comfortable to sing. Um, and let's, um, you know, just quick reminder here, so we again have our tonic, our final, on sol, so I suspect we're going to see a lot of work around sol. Uh, but then, now our dominant is do. So, even though we did see quite a lot of, for example, that do major chord in mode 7, it's probably going to play an even more critical role here uh, than it did in mode 7. So, let's uh, have a look through the Vidi Aqua. <clears throat> mm, okay. <clears throat> So it's going to be starting then on an E because it starts on Sol, so E is going to be our Sol. And we're going to come in right away on the Sol major chord, okay? <laughs> similar to what we were doing in the asperges. So we're starting on the sol major and we're walking it down, so it's an E major. Now we're walking the bass down to a D. But now we are on a do major first inversion chord. Fa major. Re minor. see that in mode 8 all the time, where we have these uh, these phrases that come to an end around Sol. And it's often going to be either that Fa major or Re minor that's going to take us there. major to, I'm sorry, um, Fa major to Sol major, or Re minor to Sol major. Okay, moving on. Again, let's walk that bass down. So, uh, Do major, A major over a C sharp on the bass, so first inversion. Okay, now we've got a La minor. That was something uh, we didn't really see in mode 7. Um, it's not that it can't happen in mode 7, but it didn't didn't seem to, to want to come up. So um, that's something kind of new here for mode 8. Me minor. Now Fa major. Uh, first inversion, Do major. A over a C sharp. Re minor, B minor. Major, D major, leading again to that uh, Sol major, that 
that cadence again. Right? <clears throat> we, can, we can walk it down again. I, as you can see, I, I obviously kind of like to walk things down uh, from like a sol major to a first inversion do major. It's just a, it, it keeps things nice and tight and close together, and uh, it's, it's a nice effect there. So. <clears throat> Started on that sol major chord, E major, walk down to the first inversion, A, ma a major. Then, and this may or may not be a good idea with your particular group, I like to do it. So, what we have there is we have um, <clears throat> one, two, one, two. So, in the middle of, of the, uh, the, the, there's th three do's in a row there, and the third one, which is actually the, the first note of a padatus there, um, uh, do, re. Uh, gets the ictus, right? So on the ictic note, I like to switch chords there. So we go um, And the reason for that, at least with, with my group, I like to, I don't have them repercuss each of those repeated does, but I like them to repercuss the ictic one. So <clears throat> changing chords there kind of helps when I, I can't direct uh, very clearly when I'm playing the organ, so I like to do that as, as kind of using my accompaniment also as a bit of direction. So we have... And that's that line, law minor, uh, F sharp minor again. And we can walk that down, so E bass to Sol major, uh, Fa major, D major. Also do a, ver a much simpler one, so we could just have stay on the do major chord. Where uh, we just go from the root position do major to a first inversion straight to the soul. That's kind of a uh, Funk combo thing in mode eight, they do a lot of that. <clears throat> Keep it simple, but I think since we're, since this is the uh, the kind of solemn psalm tone for this, I, I like to make it a little more interesting. <laughs> through this uh, cathedral style and 
that'll be that. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into modes 7 and 8, and specifically into the asparagus and the vidi aqua. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, give it a like, and give me a subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with Chant Talk. God bless you. We'll see you next time.